uh, I have a parable to present which explains about the integrity of the family in Islam. The parable is about a garden which has <coughs> some vegetation and plantation in it. This garden produces fruits that benefit the whole community, the whole world actually. If you have a garden here and a garden there and a garden there and they all are producing fruits that uh, benefit everyone. As the Prophet وسلم, said that whoever plants a, uh, any, any kind of vegetation, then whenever any animal, any bird, any uh, being with a soul eats from it, that person gets a reward. So also people in families, in, in uh, correct, correctly handled families, they get reward for the fruits that they are producing to other humanities, even in, in a better way than the, uh, the, those for normal vegetation. Uh, uh, but the important thing is that this family should be established like the garden, established on correct foundation. And the correct foundation starts from day one. So sh they should not wait, let's say, uh, for a year or two to pass, and then they start building their family correctly. It has to start actually from before day one. And when you plant, uh, start a garden, you go and purchase the seeds. And the seeds have to be good seeds so that you can plant them and get good trees and good fruits. Uh, getting uh, good seeds means getting a good spouse, making sure that your spouse is righteous and the other uh, spouse is righteous. And then when they get together, they start their marriage in a righteous way, which means they do not start their marriage by violations from the uh, wedding night, by doing lots of uh, prohibited things like what we do, what we hear about in some of the weddings, for example, music and alcohol and dancing and mixing and so on. And if a person starts on the left step, on the wrong st uh, foot, sorry, on the wrong foot, then how can you expect him to fix himself and go to the right foot later on? It is possible, but he makes, it li it makes his life more difficult and he and she are required to make serious tawbah so that Allah Azza wa would preserve their uh, family unit for them. Otherwise, the family unit will fall down, will break down, and they would have started its breaking down from the first moment. So building a good family unit, raising a nice fruitful garden starts from before day one, so that on day one, you, you do the what you should do in the right way, the wedding, and then what follows the wedding until the children come out and then you handle them, you raise them, you bring them up in the most correct manner to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be a pleasure to the ummah and later on to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa on the day of judgment where he will be boasting about the numbers of his true followers. What do you think, yeah. Sheikh? I think, yeah, we, we all agreed upon that it's very important to have the right intention, yeah, when you do anything, in al a'malu bin niyad, that we are here to construct, to develop, not to destroy. And in the same time, what the Prophet have said is so true based on uh, what you just shared with us, that uh, when you want to marry somebody, you should be very selective too. You could do not just pick up anybody on the no, on the road and then oh okay because she look beautiful he look handsome no no we we must be selective like just what you say about uh, planting a, a tree you want to know, you should get a good seed you know, from the beginning and uh, also the soil must be good and everything you no know, must come together I I believe that the, the prophet have give us guidance mashallah that when you want to get married look for four things. You know, the beauty, the lineage, the, 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 the wealth, and the religion. When you come to religion, the Prophet did not just stop there. He emphasized later on that not only he is a believer or a believing woman or man, but they have adapt, they have right akhla. 
So, mashallah, I think we as Muslims have been blessed that we have this guidance from Allah Rabbul Alameen and also from our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Where majority of the Muslim Ummah uh, do not have this understanding. Yeah? They always there is a saying, they say, love is blind. You know, Because I love, I don't care anymore. I don't see what is in uh, her, her belief, what is and what is aqidah and everything. It's not important. You know? So, Alhamdulillah, I think if we are guided properly, where there will be a lot of blessing. And that's how mawaddatan wa rahmah will come in. Mm -hmm. Because the intention was correct and we make the right choice. It's like anything in life we want to choose. You no know, food, our dress, our shoes, or everything we want to choose. Come to the relation between husband and wife, of oh course, this is more important because this is the nearest to you. you know, they are garment to each other and nothing is nearer to a human than their own garments. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe that it's very important like what you just said to make the right choice. Yeah, subhanAllah. And I know cases where brothers fell in love with sisters, with women, let's say, and they got married. And then after a short while, a few months, they tell me, they come and yani, explain to me or complain to me that, subhanAllah, this is not a woman that I'm sleeping with or next to every night, I feel like I'm sleeping next to a shaitana, like a she-devil. And But you are the one who fell in love with her and you thought that she is the most beautiful being in the world. And this tells us that beauty actually is not the apparent beauty. It is the beauty of the heart. And as for the apparent beauty, it's going to fade away. Uh, and sometimes very soon, as I mentioned, when the woman is so evil and so, so unrighteous, then you will quickly realize that you have made the wrong choice. Uh, so that is why the Prophet ﷺ said, yadak. Seek the one who has the good religion, the good faith. The yadak. And he said that uh, the best of women is the woman that if you look at her, she pleases you. And he gave other qualities for her, but this was one of them. If you look her, at her, she pleases you, means she pleases you with her, with her, not necessarily with her physical beauty, but with her attitude, with her uh, adab, with her religiousness, righteousness, and so on. So when you look at her, you feel, you feel that your heart, heart is pleased and satisfied that this is a trustworthy woman. You fully trust her with your life, with your children, with your wealth, with everything, because... She proved that she is dependable. Uh, otherwise, I mean, you marry a very beautiful woman, and then she becomes, as I mentioned earlier, in your eyes, a shaitana. So when you look at her, you are not happy to look at her. You hate her, and you f try to find a way to divorce her and to get rid of her. Allah Amen, amen. Yeah, but uh, we believe that a family is not just from one side, you know? Both sides must work together closely. Certainly. That, uh, you know, like the men want the best from the woman. In the same time, the men must give the best to their wife. Exactly. That's why the Prophet ﷺ said, khairukum, khairukum li ahli wa na khairu li ahli. The best among the men is not because he is very good to his friend only, or the best worker to the employer, but he is the best to his wife. You know, that means... Uh, the wife is like a big amana for him. I seen a lot of brothers, they want the best. They always complain about the sisters, you know. Yes. But they forgot that, you know. You want the best, you must give the best. Give the best. You can That's show true. a good example. True. But they become so selfish to their wife, you know, when they want to buy things for themselves, ex example, they go for all the good, the quality kind of things, you no. Know? But when to buy something for their wife, they go to all the big shop, you no, know? all Tesco, Giant, uh -huh. all the cheap stuff, you know. They say, you know, don't, don't, don't go for the expensive, you know, Bazir, you know. Uh -huh. But come to them, they go for the best. This show that the men also have been very uh, okay. selfish yeah. and very wrong that if they want the best for themselves, they should give the best to their wife. I believe so that by 
showing good example from us as a husband first, inshallah, even the wife have their own uh, weaknesses here and there, they will change because we are guiding them because the husband is is the protector. They are rijal qawamun al-nisa. They are leaders. So leaders should set example first and inshallah, uh, there will be a lot of blessing uh, and rahmah from Allah Rabbul Alameen. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Will you like to make any other no, no, comment? I, I fully agree with this, yani that uh, many of the problems that we hear about within families and that the men complain about, it's because of their action, their attitude in the family. They do not spend enough time with the wife or with the children and they are very abusive, abusive in dealing uh, in, with their family and then they expect uh, their family to be uh, submissive and nice and good-mannered but this will not work I mean uh, action will demand a reaction and uh, and this reaction is bad manners from the wife because it was prompted by the husband so yeah that's definitely no, no. Because if, well. if you go back to the seerah, the Prophet who was the best example for all of us, he always helped the household and the house, uh, whatever the, the, they have to do at home, uh, help the wife to do things, to do some cleaning up and so on. But uh, today, most of the men, uh, they just help themselves, you know. And then, yeah. Not all men, inshallah, there will be some good guys around. But it's time for the man to change that. Yeah. The one who prepares food for us, example, is normally our wife. You know? And then uh, at least you know, we do the cleaning up is possible you know? yeah. to show them that we care, we love, we understand they, have, uh, they are tired too. They are human like us. But to cook, to prepare food, normally it takes more time than to clean. But uh, let's just la last thing I'd like to add here is that just an example, the beauty of Islam that even the woman and the man have to fast when Ramadan comes in. But the woman sometimes, Allah's Qadr and Sunnatullah, they will have their holidays, uh, 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 official holiday. They have their, their, their menses and so on. And then Allah do not allow them to even pray. They don't have to pray. They don't have to fast. Uh, but now they still have to prepare sahur for their husband, you know. Yeah. And the husband insists, if you don't prepare, then maybe I am be very angry with you. You know, you are the cause that I don't have my sahur. Uh, sometimes I, my person, then advise to the man, if Allah have given the woman a break, you know. I think to be a good husband, give you should give them a break. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, since you have a break from salah and fasting, you just rest, you know. I will prepare, or you prepare in uh, earlier before you go to bed, and then sahur the man just wake up by himself and just have some uh, sahur. And alhamdulillah, and then I always say that to the men. I say, please, you must feel for them. No, it's not yeah. easy. The wife work twenty four hours, and they never complain. We work for eight hours. Suddenly you say, you know, I'm very tired. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sorry, I cannot do this. I cannot do that. The woman, mashallah, before you wake up, they wake up before us. And then they start to do everything. They cook, they clean, they wash, they iron, and they look after the children. Allahu Akbar. This is uh, fantastic, you know, yes, uh, being of Allah. MashaAllah. May Allah reward all of them. And may Allah also give the right feeling and understanding from the man not to be selfish. Don't just want the best from uh, the wife, but you don't give them the best of you, inshallah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So may Allah bless us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help those who help themselves. And please, brother and sister, in family life, we know that we will be tested by Allah on and off. Because now we are not with our parents now. We have our own family. So please, always have an open mind. Have the spirit of shura discussion. And seek advice from the righteous people. So that inshallah, we will have the best way to overcome whatever problem that we encounter in our daily life as husband and wife. Yeah? And may Allah protect us from all fitan. Amin. Ya Rabbul Alamin. Wa bilayi tawfiqi wa al-aqli da'wana wa alhamdulillah wa al-alamin. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi. Ashadu an la ilaha ila anta astaghfirka wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.